Dinarland May 2017. First up from CAP. Article, Central Bank Governor 4, Tomorrow Press, Deposit Protection Act will see the light very soon, I believe it is as simple as implementation. The common parliament have already approved the law. Next up from Ray Ren 98, Tweet, Saturday, Citizens are being told it will take 72 hours to reach the center of Old Mosul. The CBI governor was on TV saying the protection deposit law will be implemented soon. The final battle for Old City should be on Wednesday. Sunday, early Sunday update still showing one area needed. Another bridge was captured today along with a hospital, the fighting continues. Next up from Elmurf. Offensive launched to liberate remaining parts of Mosul's right bank operations we are coming, declared on Saturday that an offensive has been launched to liberate the remaining parts in the right bank of Mosul from the clutches of ISIS. Next up at KTFA. From dawn, Monday, May 29, 2017 Zimbabwe trade deficit narrows Zimbabwe's trade deficit narrowed by $98 million, 14.5% to $576 million in the first three months of the year from the same period a year earlier, as exports jumped 15.7% to $724 million driven mainly by mineral exports and tobacco, Yahoo reported. The influx of foreign goods, notwithstanding the implementation of Statutory Instrument 64 of 2016 that restricts the import of more than 42 goods, however continued as imports were flat at $1.3 billion compared to last year. Though there is a noticeable increase in the import of capital goods, significant amounts are still being spent on miscellaneous items. Next up at People's Dinar. Mrs. Classy says, Iraqi Central Bank revealed, on Sunday, for the Deposit Protection Act will see the light soon, stressing that the law will be supportive of the banks and its customers. The governor of the central bank, on the keywords in a press interview seen by the Economy News, that the central bank is keen to develop the banking system in Iraq, in addition to the protection of deposits of citizens, pointing out that the Deposit Protection Act will see the light very soon. Keywords stressed that the law will create trust between the citizen and the banks, which is supported internationally calling banks to associate him strongly to be a real beacon for the Iraqi banking sector. The central bank, in June 7, 2016, the establishment of a deposit guarantee in the government and private banks with a capital of 100 billion Iraqi dinars, and said the aim of the foundation is to motivate citizens to deposit their money in banks rather than Anait Naza explaining that the money comp act to citizens outside banks amounting to more than 30 trillion dinars. The Iraqi Association of Private Banks, announced in October 2015, the proportion of deposits among government banks ranging from 65 to 68 trillion dinars, of which no more than 22 trillion dinars deposits of private banks. RV will give them a reason to flock to the banks. Let's watch this one. This law was actually implemented a year ago, the central bank, in June 7, 2016, the establishment of a deposit guarantee in the government and private banks with a capital of 100 billion Iraqi dinars, and said the aim of the foundation is to motivate citizens to deposit their money in banks rather than Anait Naza, explaining that the money compacts citizens outside banks amounting to more than 30 trillion dinars. If this was not a law on the books, the Iraqis would be wanting all cash in the exchange. What would happen, if you and I, and million of Americans went to take all of our deposits out of the bank? Think about this, they have to stress confidence to the people of Iraq, safety of their money in the bank. With this depositor insurance into place, it will do just that. Shavibi, was inspired of this plan, Shavibi, requested that banks, take their time explaining all the options to each Iraqi at the time of exchange. When they, Iraq, exchange 25,000 notes, and USD, for smaller den OMs, banks will want them, to leave most in newly set up accounts, after a change in value. Same for us, don't think you can go to exchange, at a bank, exchange a million dinar for a million dollars, 
walk out and go to the local car lot and purchase a car. Have you noticed how efficient electronic banking has advanced? I believe it has become where all of our steps will be accounted for. The same for Iraq. As always, just my opinion. Central Bank, in June 7, 2016, the establishment of a deposit guarantee in the government and private banks with a capital of 100 billion Iraqi dinars, and said the aim of the foundation is to motivate citizens to deposit their money in banks rather than Anait Naza, explaining that the money compact to citizens outside banks amounting to more than 30 trillion dinars. Iraqi Association of Private Banks, announced in October 2015, the proportion of deposits among government banks ranging from 65 to 68 trillion dinars, of which no more than 22 trillion dinars deposits of private banks. B. Brook 21 says, Thanks again Mrs. C. I too remember this last year, when June was to be a big month to watch, and especially when this article came out. Now that this is brought to light again could be the real deal. But that's just my opinion. Mrs. Classy says, that's why, I believe we are close. They've played, for almost three years now, a new change, with, the ISIS situation getting put behind them, Iraq people are going to need, housing. Food, jobs, schools, etc. Just like we need it, and we need it now. As I was praying and thinking about this investment, I can feel all the hurt this investment has, developed. Hanging on to that next cloud to float by. Today, you might be on lap number 7 and not even know it. Joshua told them to march around Jericho, but he didn't tell them how many times they were going to have to do it. He just said to march forward and remain silent. Suppose they had stopped on day 6 saying, this is ridiculous. I'm not feeling it. Not one stone has fallen to the ground. I don't see any progress. Those folks are probably in there laughing their heads off. I'm going home. They would have missed the blessing. Have a great Memorial Day. Let us remember those that have kept awake, and wrapped their hands of protection, around the United States of America. Jug Dog 1, forgive me if I'm missing the obvious but isn't keywords, whatever his real name is, still a proxy? If so, I still find it difficult to understand how there will be any RV with a Maliki proxy at the helm of the CBI. Has something occurred that I missed involving this guy? Rocking RV says, excellent question. Time is now says, he is still a Maliki goon proxy. I don't get it either, Jug. How many times have we seen them say very soon? Too many to count. The Iraqi people must be awfully tired of it too. I definitely believe it will happen but I give up thinking I know when. Barney Fife says, yes Jug Dog he is and he has proven to be a honest banker at this point. After all the meetings he has attended between the world financial institutions you'd think at some point they would have dumped him if he was corrupt or just not the right guy. He actually came in with a good reputation it was the appointment by Maliki that freaked everyone out. So unless you listen to the gurus of insanity, they all said Shabai has to come back first. At this point he's nowhere to be found and here's hoping that with many guru theories it just doesn't matter. HCL, article 140 etc, on a side note a friend asked me the other day if I'd heard about the big announcement coming from Adam Montana? I said he wrote a new book it's called, Iraq's HCL the big key to nothing. LOL I wonder how many books he sold? Evidently Alak has been implementing all that has been asked of him. Even Parliament Finance Committee has backed off calls to end the auctions since he went and told them this is how it works. There's still others outside of Finance Committee who will bring it up. I've personally never thought it mattered that he was proxy even though it's a law that has gone silent for him. Can you imagine if he were to be replaced right now in Parliament? I don't want to go through that fight. Go Alak go. Jug DAWG1 says, Barney Fife, excellent. Sorry to admit but I had no idea he was what you say and as someone who obviously digs much deeper into this than I do, my question above was answered. This is the first I've heard of his abilities and honesty and it's very good to hear. Thanks me amigo. G time is now says, thanks Barney.
I have wondered why he is still around if he was so corrupt like the rest.